Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So I hope everybody is doing well and staying safe. I am doing wonderful. Um, so in this video, you're going to see me and my husband dye some yarn. Now I do want to put a disclaimer on this video that we are not yarn dyers. We don't even know how to do it. We only do it strictly for fun. We do not sell what we dye and uh, the yarns that we dye or anything like that. In fact, we don't even really know how to do it. We have other yarn dyeing videos and every time we dye yarn, we just wing it and you know, it's just for fun. So this video is just for entertainment purposes only. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend doing what we do, but in the end we do sometimes, sometimes get at least one nice hank out of the bunch. Enjoy. All right. In the sink, I have many hanks of yarn here. Now, this is yarn that I got from Kramer's and Mystery Boxes. So um, I'm assuming that it's not a pre-wash wool. So I'm soaking it in like a lukewarm water. Um, and you want to do this with any yarn, whether it's pre-wash or regular wash. I guess. I don't know. We just wing it, don't we, Eric? Mm -hmm. Why do you want to do this? Huh? Or why do you want to do this? Why do I want to do what? Soak this wool in there. Oh, uh, it helps Does it the... open up the pores? Yeah, yeah, kind of, I guess. Does it? Yeah. Helps it absorb the dye. yeah the color the color. Oh, nice. I don't think my plug's working very well. Just get some water. Anyways, you want to do it for like 15 minutes. So we'll go ahead and get the dyes ready while this is soaking up. There's a bunch of hanks in there. Man, I'm dying to try it. <laughs> ha ha, dad joke. Dying to try it. All right, the dye I'm using is Wilton's uh, gel dyes. I got this on my Amazon. It's 12 different colors. Uh, you can use regular dye too. I think gel works better though, but I mean, but again, I just dye for fun. So it's not like professionally done or anything. So, but yeah, I always use the gel and then you're going to need some regular vinegar, not or white wine or, uh, anything like, like that. Just regular, not apple cider, just regular, uh, vinegar like this and some cups to mix this with. I'm going to get some gloves on too. All right, so I'm going to use three colors for my first dye. I'm going to use some of my favorites. Well, I'm going to use this burgundy, brown, and copper. So I got three cups here. So what you want to do is put a little bit of vinegar the bottom of each cup. The vinegar helps. I don't know what the vinegar does. I just read you're supposed to use vinegar. So I always use vinegar. There we go. It's probably a little bit of vinegar. Yeah, like that. Remember, I wouldn't like take my dyeing video as a <laughs> as a guide. It's just for fun. And then I'm going to mix some colors in here. Eric, will you hold the camera for a minute? I guess so. Don't show my face. So. I guess you can. It doesn't matter. But... Why is it trademarked? <laughs> trademarked. What Copywritten. I have to wear two pair of gloves since I do tutorials because I always bust through, don't I? I probably still will. You bust through like the Kool Aid man. I do, just like him. So I'm putting a little gel dye in each one of my cups here. And then I'm going to put hot water in it. All right, so I have three colors here. And I did like, I don't know what it was. A tablespoon, two tablespoons of vinegar, something like that. What color is that one? Uh, copper, burgundy, and brown. And I filled it up with hot, not boiling, but really hot water. And I just stirred and stirred and stirred till the gel was dissolved in it. You see, and I just took like whatever spoonful from the end of the fork or end of the spoon and put it in here just wing in a little things. dixie cup one yeah. of those like six ounces i don't know four or five i ounces. don't know i'm gonna put some a couple uh yeah we use zip ties because zip ties. the yarn can get tangled up pretty easy well it's easier to hold yeah it's easy to hold with and the zip tie. Call, i think people, a lot of people use zip ties but oh. all right stop okay. that for me so now i have these pans here you can use whatever type of pan you want what I kind just, of pans are these i don't know what they are anyways you know what they call them uh, steamer pans. Steamer pans. Something. Doug, get down. And, um, hey, Doug. I'm going to set it in here. I wrung out mo some of the water, but there's still a little bit in it. And I put one zip tie on it so I could take it in and out. Now, you professional dyers don't be laughing at me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to put some, my, my colors on it. And they're probably going to run all over each other. I'm going to try not to since they're, uh, they're going to run a bit on each other. But here we go. Let me see. I'll have to put a little bit more. See what you got, Picasso. Oh, yeah. 
I'm more of a... Crystal Angelo. I'm more of a, uh... Da Vinci. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. I just choked that up like nothing. I need bigger cups. Mm -hmm. Dixies mm -hmm. aren't doing it, man. I don't know what color this is. It's either burgundy or copper, but whatever. Okay, I'm going to have to use bigger cups. Do this again. Ooh, that's cool. I like the stripey look. I don't like the white showing myself. Oh, I know your standards. <laughs> Mine are different than yours. <laughs> yeah, they are. I had to heat this up too, so okay. I'm going to go ahead and mix up a little bit more of this and then get it to where it's got both sides this, you know, saturated, saturated really well. Maybe if I add a little water to it. And then we'll have, yeah, I'll have to add a little water to it and then we'll heat it up a little bit on the stove. All right. Let me get some more color made real quick. All right, I mixed up bigger batch this time. So I add a little more vinegar to them. And this one, what color is that one? The burgundy or copper? Uh, that looks like the burgundy. Yeah, that's the burgundy. copper. Okay, so okay. they are gonna run because, are you sure that's burgundy? No. Don't, uh, don't blame me if it's not. It's brown. Oh, I don't know. Oh, uh, here's the brown. Yeah, there's brown. I think it's just weaker. Whatevs. It's all flowing together anyway. That's what happens. I made it too weak this time. Flowing. Like the Nile. Right? It's backwards. It's flowing backwards. Flowing, does, does the Nile flow backwards? Yeah. Flowing like your wraps. <laughs> flowing like my wraps. Which one flowing like water. Flowing. Bruce Lee said, be like the nature of water. Oh no, I got a whole bunch of clumps. Hey, I'm not a professional. I'm not a professional. You like Steve? You got a bunch of clumps. <laughs> That's our cat, Steve. Clumpy Steve. All right, now I'm going to turn the heat on. And how do I turn these burners on? Can't take the heat. Get out the kitchen. And it should soak up all that water. Okay, here's one. Here's one. This one. Do they just come on or what? Yeah, they come on. But you might want to I don't them. even know how to use the oven at this house, at my house, our house. You see who does the cooking around here. Not me. No. Did it work, like? All right. Okay. Wait, that one went off. Cut this out. I'm not telling people I don't know how to. Just when you, when you get it lit, just keep turning it the same I'm way. Not people same way. Same way. Okay. I don't know how to use the oven. That's embarrassing. It smells like propane in here. Propane, propane. Like can't kill. Mm -hmm. All right. Now what you do is, well, what I do, it's like probably, you? probably not correct. He's the propane master. Do this and make sure it's all covered. And bring it to like a simmer. And it should soak up all the color that you got in there. That should be darker, I guess. But I'll wait till it soaks it up. And then I'll dump a little more brown over here, maybe, to get it browner. Mm -hmm. We'll see. You going to do one now? On low heat, bring it to a simmer. Gotcha. Yep. Ready, to do, ready to do mine. Here we go. All right. Okay, so mine's like simmering, so I'm going to turn out the oven off now. And I'm just going to let it set until it soaks up the color. Um, so now there's no burner on it. You can see it's already taken the color. Yeah, it's looking good. Let's get to that, how clear it's getting there. Wow. So a lot of brown could still take. Um, should I try to flip it? I could try uh, to flip it. Try. Otherwise, it's Look pretty. at the bottom and see if it has any on it. Will you pull it up and see if it's up? Uh... My hand's got a little bit of green dye. Oh, then. Back off <laughs> with your green dyed hands. Contaminate your project. That looks pretty much close does, to the same yeah, on both sides. Yeah, I think it's getting it okay. So, yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, it's doing good. Okay. All right, so yeah, I'll let that set. It kind of come up, mixed together real well. That's what happens when I dye yarn um, until it, there's the water is almost clear. What are you doing over here, Eric? Let's see I yours. I'm putting a pad up here. And I, haven't, uh, I haven't done anything yet. Okay. I'm slacking. All right. He's slacking. What's new? That's a joke. So Eric's doing his own thing. He always has to go off. I always have to be different. So what'd you do up in here? Tell everybody say. about it. I just mixed up some vinegar and some color in here. And now I'm just smushing the yarn down inside of the cup. Yeah. The green? Yeah, the green. The whole container green. The whole container, yeah. So no one else gets any green but you? It's my favorite color. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just messing with him, guys. Come on, I'm just messing. Right. That's jokes. 
right? Sometimes your jokes go too far. Stop joking it. about my color. He's joking about my jokes going too far. I am. He is, he is. He's just joking about that. I can take a joke. I got thick skin. <laughs> Stop it. That's an interesting concept though. I'd it's like to work. see how it it's works. Work. Yeah, all right. We'll tuck it out in a second. All right, here's Eric's. It's got an ombre effect going on. It, nice. It did a little bit better at first, but then it all dripped together. But It happens. That's the way we roll. Yeah, it all rolls together. It just rolls together. Okay, once mine was done, um, I just rinsed it out until the water ran clear. And now I have to let it dry overnight. This is probably the worst tank I've ever dyed in my life. So, I don't like it. So, it's like really not dark enough. And everything mixed together. I got to go back to my old way. I was just trying something different. All right, I'm going to do it differently now. I don't like that one very well. Maybe it'll look better when it dries, but it's really... This turned pink, not burgundy. And my brown... I don't know. That's okay. The and burgundy the mixed into cool. it. And my copper really lightened up, I guess. We'll see it in a bit. All right, Eric's ombre. Looks pretty cool. It's all right, it didn't turn out quite like I thought it was going to, but it never does, does it? Nah, we're just playing anyways. We're yeah, just we're playing. Just playing. I'm doing it a different way this time. This time I put water and a bunch of vinegar in here and it's heated up. So now I'm just gonna dump the color on it and it'll probably just become a great big mess of color, but that's, hey, that's what I do. That's life. That's a lot. Oh, great big mess of color. Great big mess of color. <sighs> Nothing wrong with that. All right, so I'm going to dump. Ooh. Take a depth of stability. I like the spatter. Oh, you like the spatter effect? Mm -hmm. Oh, so there's that one. Next. Should we go? Oh, he did, didn't he? Oh, yeah, it's going to mix. I don't even know why I did purple because that blue is going to mix with the red. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's okay. Oh no, my spoon. <laughs> and the yarn ran away with the spoon. Which one was? It doesn't matter. No, I got pretty Um, should I do red or orange next? I'll do uh, red, I guess. Yeah. Doesn't matter, they're all gonna mix Whatever now. Whatever your imagination says, babe. It says this yarn Hank is not gonna be as cool. Is this yellow or orange? I don't know. Alright, now I'm going with that. Whoa, that's colorful. Yeah, but it's all going to mix together, I think. Now I'm going to let that come to a simmer and then I'll turn it off so it sucks up all the color. That's how I used to do it. The first time was a different way. Didn't really get that dark for some reason. This one may not either. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. It's the way she goes sometimes. You trying this time? Uh, I don't know if it'll work, and I don't even know if you can do this. You might just shut me down as soon as I say this, but right. I'm going to dip these. Yeah. I'm stirring this up really good so there's no clumps of uh, dye in there. Yeah. And I may stick this on a plate or in a bowl yeah. and stick it in the microwave. That's cool. I, I read people microwave them. Without any water or anything. I've else. seen, um, I read where, there's a sponge I found. Some people uh, cut a sponge, cut up sponge, and they get it all over there, wherever they want to put it, it, and then they put it in the microwave. But yeah. it said you got to be careful. You have to check uh, it every burn, just, yeah, yeah, there's no it, water with it. Yep. Yeah, I, I figured that. You can do that. You can dry it out quick, but these are pretty soaked, so I think it'll be able to be in there for a little bit. Are you going to use a sponge, or are you just going to use the hands? I'm going or... to dip like I did this oh. one, but I'm going to make hey. it so it's separated. You dip, I dip, you dip. Is that how it goes? You dip, I dip, we dip. When I <laughs> dip, you dip, we dip. That's what it is. That's an old song, babe. Old. Like, old like me. But you're still older. Did you dip? Dip. Did you ever dip? When I dip, we. <laughs> Did you ever do the dance? No, I didn't. No. I can't dance. I get laughed at. Oh no! Just... What happened? You get laughed. Are at. you doing the process now or? Yeah, I'm doing it now. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, I don't need this on here right now. Can I clip this up? Am I loud? I don't care what you do. It's your. Where's your scissors? Hey, it's your Hank, man. Ooh. I don't like seeing that. What'd you see? Someone cut something open with those scissors and put them back in the block and they're not clean. Yeah, I wonder who that was. Probably someone sitting on the couch over there. But I won't say who. Liv. <laughs> was it Liv? <laughs> More than likely. Okay, let's see the process. Here's the first dip. 
Dippins. Don't get your. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Okay, I'm just trying. It's to looking do... pretty cool, Eric. Really. Oh, thank you. Good job. It's like a cherry orange popsicle. Mmm. I like looks, cherry and orange popsicles. Looks delicious. I like it. It's gonna take me just a minute to get it. All right. Soaked I'm gonna go over. check out mine. Bit. All right. So mine's still soaking over here. I like that one. Seems like I got too much dye, and it's gonna take forever to soak it up. And then I got one I just started over here, brown and purple. I just started Sweet. it. I'm getting ready. It's getting ready to start simmering. I haven't turned the heat off or anything on it. Eric's still working on his microwave one. All right, Eric's rinsing his. So I did in the microwave, and hardly any of the color came out whenever I rinsed it. Looks good. So it soaked in really good. I like the orange in the. Yeah, it's cool. Yep. All right, here's Eric's microwavable one. I'm that super one's happy cool. with that one. It took all the color and none of it came out when we rinsed it, so. That one's really pretty. Yeah, it did good. That's gonna look really pretty when it's tanked up too. Reminds me of a lifesaver. Yeah, yeah it does. Like a chewy lifesaver, one of those tropical looking. chewy rings. Summery looking. Yeah. I like it, nice job. Nice, thank you. Hey. Oh wow, babe, that one came out looking like a mermaid or a seashell or something, I like that. I don't know. You know the shimmery part yeah. of the seashell? That's pretty cool. We'll have to see what it looks like hanged up. Well, I'll hang these up um, to dry. I'm just setting them on this pad for a minute while we get them all done. And then I'll hang them up and let, well, where are we gonna hang them? We'll hang them somewhere, let them dry overnight. And then hang them up and see what they look like. Vinegar and water on heat. What are you doing here? I'm gonna try to dip dye this. Uh, Ooh, some dip dyeing fun, huh? That's a whole container of blue. With the uh, royal blue. Royal blue. And yes, vinegar and water on heat. Ooh, I'm liking that already. Hey, my yarn's probably burning. Okay, top. Soak for a minute. It's scalding hot right now. It's pretty blue. It is pretty blue. Holy cow, that is. If it stays that dark, that'd be awesome. That'd be some good looking yarn, wouldn't it? <laughs> Looks like an ink pen bursted on it. It does. You always hate to find those types of things in the dryer, don't you? Yes, <laughs> it's aggravating. One ink pen will ruin your Maybe whole wardrobe. Maybe that was probably too much dye, I don't know. <laughs> no way. That's awesome. We call this one Papa Smurf. You should just leave the end of it white like his beard. Be Papa Smurf. Papa Smurf, huh? I'm not much on even dyed your own white. Didn't they wear white hats too? Some of them. I did think you, did so. you watch the Smurfs? Yeah, I watched them. Gargamel. Yeah. Azriel. Yep, Azriel. His cat. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm just gonna do this for a while. Doogie Hauser. All right, here's my blue. I tried to make an ombre. So I did it. That's why I was dip dyeing it real dark at the bottom, and I just kind of slowly let it get take the dye until there was hardly any dye left. I and think then, it worked. It had pretty cool stripes on and it. And then I put um, the end in there. So that's about the water's yeah, pretty nice. much done with, I think. But I mean, it's not turn, the best. Turn it around to the other it's side. It's too tall. I can't see. Turn I can't hold it. We'll see what it looks like when it's uh. We're gonna work some of these up on that. Kicked up. Add them. I don't know. It's possible. All right, so there's my dip dye ombre. Turned out a nice, pretty blue ombre. I'm gonna name it that took one. The dye really good. Didn't it, it did. I'm gonna name that one. Ink pen in the dryer. <laughs> and here's our other one. So I don't think this this time turned out quite as well as some of the other ones we've done. But I think not yours turned out really nice. I'm not real happy with mine. I just couldn't get the red to take or anything. Or the brown to really take that well. I like them. This one's awesome. We'll see what they look like tomorrow. I accidentally sabotaged her. Oh, I that little drop of green ain't going to do anything. When I drip, you drip, we drip. <laughs> Anyways, so we'll let these dry. I do like that blue. It's pretty. Turned out nice. It's a good technique. I'll try that next time awesome. again. And you hey. just did that by dipping it down and waiting. And Real slowly, yeah. Each one just a different amount of times. Yeah. Until so there was hardly any color left. And then I just put the top in. Nice. And let it sit there for a few minutes. Good job. Ten minutes or something. Turned out great. Anyways, we'll let these dry. We're going to hang them up overnight. And then here in just a second, which will be overnight for us. But a second for you. I'll show you what they look like all 
hanked up in the names that we pick out for him. Dyed and dried and hanked. Yeah, we do have other yarn dyeing videos I think turned out better than this. You guys can check them out. There, are, I have a playlist for them um, underneath yarn dyeing videos. <laughs> All right, see you in How a second. Is that? <laughs> see you in a second. All right, here's our Hanks. You guys ready? We don't have names for all of them. You can help us name us, name them in the comments, okay? Um, I wasn't as extremely satisfied with this yarn dyeing experience as some of my other videos. I was having a hard time getting some of the yarn to take. Um, I think it's the type of yarn that I used this time, um, but it's okay. So I'll show you what we got here. So this one is my husband's and he named it, um, um, Mountain Lightning. You know Walmart's soda, their version of Mountain Dew. He called, this is Mountain Lightning. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I like this one. It turned out nice. I gotta cut these ties off, but I mean, they don't have no purpose anymore. But yeah, so we got that one. He, he did that one. And then he did this one. I like that one. I think that one turned out nice. He made this one, I think, in the microwave. So, it doesn't have a name. And then, let's see. He did this one as well in the microwave. And it doesn't have a name either. Turned out nice. And I'll show you the ones I did. This is my least favorite. The ones. <laughs> this was the first one I did. I was just trying something new. I just couldn't get it to take the collar. I don't have a name for it. Uh, not pretty skinny yarn. I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. It's just... I was really hoping for darker colors on that, but no name on that one. Um, I did uh, get this one. I like this one. I think this one turned out nice. I named this one Purple Empress after the tree. Have you guys ever seen that tree? Purple Empress tree? I have a couple in my yard. Um, so this would be the trunk and this is like the color of flowers they go on it. Anyways, this is a purple impress yarn. I think it turned out pretty good. I like that one. And then this one is my big uh, half pound Hank. It's not bad. I do wish I could have got some r the red just, I don't know, it faded out into nothing. But it's still pretty bright. A lot of the colors are bright, I guess. You got to dig around in there but, and see them. But it's pretty. I'm going to name this one. Tropic Thunder after that Ben Stiller movie <laughs> But yeah, it's pretty and this one's my favorite. This is the one that I dip dyed at the end and It was such a beautiful ombre. Did you see it seeing it there at the end? Um, it is very very beautiful It went it goes from light to really dark blue um, And I'm gonna name this one <laughs> ink pen in the dryer <laughs> It's my, it's my favorite. It's very, very pretty. That, I think it turned out quite well. So, you guys let me know in the comments which one's your favorite. And if you guys have any names for any of them. Remember, this one's ink pen in, your, in, in the dryer. One of the worst possible things that you can think of. But, it's a pretty yarn, still. It, it turned out to be a pretty ombre. Tropic Thunder. Yeah, that's a big hank. Half pounder. Purple Empress after the tree. I like that one too. Uh, Mountain Lightning after Walmart's Mountain Dew Soda. <laughs> and these three have no names. It was a lot of fun though. That one was really cool that Eric did. Um, it was fun. It was a good time. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, remember, I don't sell these. I don't do anything with them because I don't even know they could possibly bleed when you're using them. <laughs> Sometimes I throw them in giveaways. Usually I just keep them just for the sake of keeping them. Um, just, you know, because it's a piece of art that me and my husband did together. So I usually keep most of them. But that's it. Thanks, everybody. I hope you had a good time. As much fun as we did. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.